I think they absolutely have to to speak out. Um, you know, more and more we're seeing companies, corporations increase in power, whether that's economic power, social power, cultural power, and people both inside of these companies and outside of these companies are really looking for them to lead on the issues, right? Um, and leverage that power uh, for good. So I definitely think there's some benefit. I also think there's a right way and a wrong way to, to, to make some of these statements. And it's really important that companies aren't just pushing out some kind of marketing statement, but, but making strong, decisive statements and following those up with action. So, Yvonne, interesting point you're making there. So, in recent months, we saw the Business Roundtable come out with a new statement on the purchase of a corporation, and part of it was they should support the communities that they're in. Now, again, mm -hmm. this is very divisive. There's some people who are for it. There's some people who are against it. How do you support the community when something's this divisive? What is the right way? Well, you know, I think... Um you know, organizations need to first remember their values, right? I, I, you know, I think that, yes, voting rights are a hot button issue, but, you know, we live in a democracy and, um, you know, d democratic bed ideals are at the bedrock of that. So I think that's really important. I also think organizations are starting to realize that when they sit in communities where they're not um, being additive, where they're, uh, you know, um, having harm, you know, those communities become less stable. People uh, become less likely to buy their products. People are less likely to want to work for them. And we're starting to see higher expectations from business. You know, we want them to lead morally, uh, just as they do financially. Um, and we want to make sure that businesses aren't harming communities along the way. So, Yvonne, I'm going to put you on the spot. You work with some big name companies like Salesforce, like Amazon, like Airbnb. If you were speaking to the CEOs, uh, CEO of one of these companies involved in this controversy and you had to give them a playbook, what would be step one? Um, step one is be honest with yourself. So uh, if you, for example, are, are an organization that's recently had some controversy, um, you know, know that, own that. People are going to be critical when they see your statement, right? We live in the age of social media. So whatever you say will be uh, dissected, pulled apart, and put up against your actions. Um, when you do make a statement, however, and I think most, uh, most companies should, uh, particularly if they're prepared to follow it by action, make sure that you're saying something that's clear. I don't, I don't think you can both sides democracy, right? You're either or, or, or against it, right? So really come out decisively uh, around, you know, your support for voting rights access, um, your opposition to this bill. And I think you have to say words like race. You have to say words like civil rights. You have to say the names of the states that are enacting some of this legislation. And sadly, you know, we've seen bills introduced across 47 states. So I think taking a strong stance is important. But like I said before, you can't stop there. I think organizations need to commit to action. Again, consumers are really savvy right now. So they'll see these statements, you know, post them on Twitter or whatever. And if they don't see action, they're going to see it as marketing. And um, more and more, there's an increased likelihood that you're going to get pushback. You know, you can just look at right. what happened to some companies during the Black Lives Matter movement. Companies put out these statements, didn't follow up with action or had a history of anti-Blackness in their organizations, and they were held to account. And I think the same holds true um, here. So again, you know, I would say be honest with yourself about where you're at, take a strong, decisive stance, and be prepared to follow that up with action and be specific about what that action is. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.